And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono black control to kick off our favorites Friday stream today. We're on with mono black control, Kalia and friends, and Sultai Treachery, three of our favorite decks from this format. So we're gonna play all three of those. Also have donation to deck to play with the Esper Mill later on as well um but yeah first we're going through these three decks that i've really liked um and gonna play them all in ranked today you know we're ending the format here hey what's up agoonie and so we're gonna get some ranked in here because tomorrow we have our sub battle stream which is always a ton of fun hope you check that out later on youtube it's where i play against subscribers i play a different deck every single match the people in Twitch chat bring their sweet brews as well. It's a lot of uh, cool cards and interactions and everything. So we got that going on tomorrow. And then uh, we're going to be doing our Brewers set review on a Throne of Eldraine on Sunday, where we go through and talk about every single card and how it can be used in standard. So that's um, some really uh, good discussion and learning and everything there. So that's what we're going to be doing on a Sunday. So for today... You know, we just have a few few days before rotation, which is going to be next Thursday. I uh, wanted to play some of our favorites. And so, yeah. Um, Mono Black Control is a deck we've played a bunch so far. I uh, haven't really changed it too much. It's just a, it's a real fun deck to play. It's just a, you know, a nice, a nice control deck where games take a while. And we're trying to win that late game. Get lots of mana with Cabal Stronghold. And use Karn the Great Creator. Whenever we have a bunch of mana, use Karn the Great Creator to go grab these things from the sideboard, especially um, Helm of the Host to either copy God Pharaoh statue or start copying Dread Presences um, and just overwhelm the opponent. Man, that art looks really cool. Yeah, that looks really cool. All right, so let's let's get it let's get it going. So this deck can take a while. Usually whenever I do ranked, I play five matches of, of a deck in ranked. But we may not play five matches with, with these decks because these, you know, uh, we have some slower decks here. This one, Esper Mill, um, and everything. So maybe we'll play like four. We'll kind of see how it goes. Nope, no murder. I got an Obnixilus's Cruelty instead of a murder, where Obnixilus's Cruelty can be some uh, exile uh, you know, get rid of a card like Adanto Vanguard or Rekindling Phoenix by exiling it. All right, looks like we're kicking off with some aggro. I got a slower hand, but hopefully we hit our fourth land where we get to Ritual of Soot on turn four. You know, hopefully we can go, like, Cruelty into Soot. Um, that's a pretty good draw. That's a pretty good draw. Sacred Foundry. What's going on over there with Sacred Foundry? Well, I wish I would have scryed on upkeep. Considered scrying on upkeep or not, scrying on, or, you know, like waiting with, with the scry, I actually think it's kind of better to wait a turn. Or, like, wait till we have a little bit more information. So, Shock, Shock, Wizard's Lightning. Wizard's Lightning does the most damage, but they can't cast it yet. But still, they will be able to cast it by the time the game ends. So, I'm going to take that one. All right, and we got two looks for a land here. There we go. Perfect. Now, now we want to just keep on drawing swamps where I can go Dread Presence and then play a swamp and gain two life. My opponent is throwing those shocks away kind of for no reason right now, just impatience. We did not get the swamps. best chance of finding a swamp is by going with the Karn and ticking up. 
I know I kind of need that swamp for next turn, but we'll just play it because we got the treasure map. We also have the car, and again, we should be able to find another swamp just fine. Um, no, I mean, I'm just keeping this card. Alright, so we need a swamp in our next two. Here, because they'll give us the swamp. The choices we make reveal who we are. Ugh, stronghold. That's rough. I guess I could have... Yeah, white could be for heroic reinforcements. I could have... Could have activated treasure map first. All right, well, if they just have Burn Spell, then untap Burn Spell, I'll, I'll lose because I did play my Swamp last turn to activate Treasure Map. So we'll see. I do have the, uh, the Cruelty up still because I can flip the Treasure Map and use a couple of Treasures. And so if it is, like, two Haste Creatures, like if it was, like, Lightning Strike and then untap Reinforcements... Okay, Alder 2. Good to hear. Yeah, I yeah, I, I do spend real money on arena because to get to get all these card styles. They're pretty expensive. If it if it wasn't for getting the card styles, I wouldn't need to spend money. I would be able to like I can I can have I can like earn the the cards each set without that, but The card styles are expensive, though. Good choice. Hmm. Why would you tap the treasure, the treasure cove? Deck, what are you doing? All right, let's try to start locking them out. All right, this looks pretty good for us. Looking pretty good. Back up to seven. They didn't play that last card. All right. All right, we got a moment of craving, a legion's end, another ritual of set. I don't need noxious grasp, and it doesn't look like I need elder spell. Get moment of craving back in there. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to cut one Karn, the great creator. That card's really slow. Thinking about bringing in the Golos. Now I'll just keep it like this. I, don't know, I could play like Chromatic Lantern instead of Karn the Great Creator. As just something to try to speed me up a little bit. Great Creator is just real slow. 
it's basically it's good after you've like already stabilized and won the game basically it doesn't really help you it doesn't really help whenever i'm behind which is what we're going to be here which we need to try to win a game when we're behind and karn doesn't really help with that so actually yeah let's just take them all out um i guess i guess i can use karn to get grab like meteor golem to help stabilize to kill um a uh, uh whatever that two man enchantment's called they have the two man enchantment <laughs> i'm gonna miss firebrand the most Goodbye, you ridiculous little monkey. The next person. I'm going to miss the Scarab God. <laughs> Your friends th think blue won Eldrain? It's hard to say that a non-questing beast color won the set. When questing beast is the best card. By a long ways. You miss Mog Fanatic. That was a good card. My opponent's looking quite dodgy over there. Maybe it's because we're making them cry. Why you you hate dread presence? Why do you hate dread presence? So yeah, getting rid of the Firebrand because that thing can... <clears throat> well, that's mean. Well, that's not mean. Dread Presence is so good. So good. <laughs> It's just concessions in a four mana card. Yeah, we should get there, Matthew. We should get there today. Wait, did I? Aguni signed with sub with Twitch Prime. Also, I didn't. Uh, I didn't update that. We're actually at two today. So I think I want to wait. Um, hey, Poppy. I think I want to wait for the 12 hour stream for Thursday and just and wait, wait a few days because then, you know, Thursdays, like, you know, whenever Eldrain will be re released. And I think it's just a more, a better use of a 12 hour stream is doing that um i like dressing here on turn two because basically the spells that they could play that i'm like real scared of are like two mana spells you know whether it's like search for Kanta or thought erasure or you know like whatever it's, people don't usually play like a a one mana spell that's very scary um, so waiting a turn to cast a rest lets my opponent draw another card. Like maybe they didn't have that Nissa in hand. Maybe their first draw step was that Nissa and then, and we would have whiffed if I would have, um, just gone for it right then. Who knows? So yeah, I think my, my plan is 
you know, we'll hit the 12-hour stream probably today, or hit the sub goal for the 12-hour stream probably today. Um, but wait till Thursday to do it then. But then, you know, still be counting towards the next 12-hour stream after that, of course. Um, where we may, you know, have another 12-hour stream like a week later or so. Yeah, then I may, yeah. It's a good call. I'll, I haven't really decided that yet, but yeah, pro probably, I guess, Tuesday. Tuesday is usually one of my my slowest days anyway. And so just to, to take a day off before uh, the new set comes out where I won't want to take a day off for, for a while after the new set. So yeah, I'll probably take Tuesday off. All right, well, we need to find an answer for Bolus of Citadel here. I'm digging. I'm trying. But we're not finding anything. Could use an Ugin or a Karn. So they they have a removal spell on top because they didn't play it with Citadel and they and it wasn't a land. They didn't just play a land off the top. So they drew a removal spell there. You're welcome, Sanctus. Good job. Way to get to Diamond. Good job. Yeah, I probably should have waited on the just playing the Stronghold. Just gave them a target for Field of Ruin to reset for Citadel. That, that was a mistake by me there. Should just wait. Bone Crusher Giant, Murderous Rider, Dread Presence, and Iron Crag Pyromancer. Yay! I'm not... I'm not exactly sure what the Pyromancer card does. Um, you know, Dread Presence, you want to play a lot of swamps, and so you're talking about playing red cards with lots of swamps. Doesn't always work out spectacularly. But I don't hate it. So we've gone through two Dread Presence. There's only one more, so I'm going to keep on playing my lands. Because you know, we could draw four mana Karn and want to play multiple things. Alright. Eventually, the Citadel is going to get us. And it looks like we hit that time. Oh, it does three damage to any target when you draw your second card. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, that does work well with Dread Presence. I don't really have much of a shot to win this game. I'm just kind of seeing a little bit more of their deck. It's 
better to hold on to duress at this point. Because, like, duress would be able to... Like, if we draw an Ugin, you know, we'd be able to duress away a removal spell and play our Ugin kind of thing. But, however, obviously, it's the game's over from here, though. Let's see some more of their deck first. Got a bunch of Field of Ruins. So they have four Field of Ruin. Well, I do like Ritual of Soot, but I don't like Cry the Carnarium. Kind of debating about Ashiok, like whether we want Ashiok to try to stop, um, find finality, whether or not that's worth it. Kind of thinking probably not. Yeah, Spyglass is good, but it's it's difficult to pull off because they have they just have a lot of ways to destroy art. Like with them playing four Assassin's trophies, it's kind of difficult. And it's like you know we can have Spyglass stop Nissa, but then they have Varaska Golgari Queen to kill the Spyglass. It's tough. Kind of the same with Treasure Map. They have a lot of ways to kill Treasure Map. I don't particularly like that. I'm going to play one Meteor Golem in the main deck instead of one of these Goluses. Because that, that gives me another main deck answer to, um, to Citadel. So obviously now we have like the treasure map we're going to be playing on turn two, so we're just playing this right away. Um, Bond of Flourishing is a one for one. Find finality can be a two for one. So we'll just take that. All right, let's look for land. That's a good question. The question is, how does God Pharaoh's statue work with Bolus's citadel? I don't exactly know. I'd have to read God Pharaoh's statue. I don't. I don't exactly know. Maybe somebody in chat knows exactly how those work together. All right, come on, land. Yeah. So since I got my four mana planeswalker here, I just want to slow them down, basically. Um, I know Noxious Grass can take out like a Nissa, where Land War Elf gets cleared up by by Ritual of Sit also. Bleh. 
That doesn't add enough mana. I shouldn't have played that. <laughs> oh, they didn't feel the Vroon. Interesting. Right, Veil of Summer is a card. It's been a day or two since I played Black Control. It's like two. <laughs> kind of forgot about Veil of Summer there for a second. Ugh. Didn't get in there. Oh well, still had a great card. So obviously I'm just putting the Ugin into my hand but while we can, right? Um, I still kind of want to play Dread Presence. No. Let's go with Liliana. Warrior Queen Necromancer. Smelly, but... I don't want to play Ugin and they kill Ugin before Citadel. I want to be able to play Ugin after Citadel. But I, I'm still grabbing it now in case something happens to Karn. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's that's a pretty cool event that they have going on. Um, the yeah, it's just a, a single time event. If you if you win, if you get twelve wins before two losses, right? So you have to go like twelve and one, but then you get one card, one of every card for your account. That's that's just a pretty cool little event. Yeah, you got one shot. Yep, only the the one shot, but <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, M yeah, Eminem made the event. He's like, you just got one shot. Thanks, I'll draw a card. I've learned much from your death. It's best of one standard. I really wish they would just call it best of one standard instead of like standard traditional standard. You'll pay for that. I should have done that first. I'll make use of that later. I know they can cast finality and kill both of my dread presences now. But that's not It's not the biggest thing. It's not the biggest problem ever. What's up Frisky Biscuits? Thanks for the resub. Ooh, MTG bot is back. See if I can do the deckless command now. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> My army has been destroyed. That's gonna be a couple triggers here. We'll just get rid of this chup. Yeah, we'll get rid of chupacabra. Ooh, that's a good card. My presence alone will guide you. All right, so we're going to game three. Or destroy. This will aid us. Contempt's a good card to have access to.
Oh, right. Karn only costs two mana. Because of Ugin. I guess I could have probably just played that. But oh well. I like second treasures. We get so many cards. We'll do... Uh, We'll do two and draw one. So I still have le I have lethal now. Um, yeah, because now I can. Yeah, because now I have, I have eight damage. I can do four to them upstairs with the dread presence. So we're good there. And then just use a removal spell on Branch Walker. Okay, so essentially it should have no effect because you're not using mana to cast the card in the first place. Okay. So statue... This spells cost two more to cast, but you're not spending mana to cast it, so it doesn't affect it. Because it, you just cast it by its, man, its CMC, and statue doesn't change the card CMC. That all makes sense to me. Checks out. Basically, Legion's End is, is kind of only good against Wild Growth Walker. Do I really need three of them? Maybe not. I'll play two and an extra bolos. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to shoot face with that last trigger there. And then use removal spell on the branch walker and attack him. Oh, that's not correct? Okay, so you do have to pay life and two mana for each card. Okay. So just any time you would cast a spell, the artifact says it costs two more to cast it no matter how you cast it. See, that, that makes sense too. Basically, either way makes sense to me. Let's try to draw some lands. not land. I leave dead bodies wherever I go. Ready to join them? Maybe they play another Planeswalker here, like a Nissa, and I get to double, get two things with Elder Spell. I guess I should have activated Field of Ruin previously. Definitely need to shuffle our library. We're not finding any lands there. I 
I have never used Tezzeret and a Savager of Ruins as a combo, no. I've never used Savager of Ruins. Honestly. Rise and shine. Time to go. I don't know if I'm supposed to duress right here for this one card. Yeah. Okay. So I was thinking, because they did not sacrifice a land to draw an extra card, so I was thinking maybe they had something expensive. Oh, come on! What a ripoff. Hopefully we're just tapping out for a while. Alright, here we go. No, Karn grabs Golos. So Stronghold doesn't give me an extra mana right now. We need another land. Cool, we got another land. And yeah, they can kill Ugin. But getting Citadel out of here, quite important. Really? What's the... Thank you. I guess that's all I can say is thank you. Just gets me an extra land. They could just attack Ugin for one with Land War Elf. Could have just attacked. So that's three trophies gone. So six, seven, eight, nine. If I play the land, we would have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... So I could do Karn plus 7 mana. What do I want Karn to get? Like the statue isn't spectacular yet. Let's just do it this way so I get to do Dread Presence also. Draw another card. Okay, okay. I'm in there. Go, let's go get another stronghold. Give me more mana. I think I may be able to, to pay for Karn. Oh, they had a field of ruin? Come on. Oh, they just got it off the Jade Light. Boo. I'll just draw a card. I think I could have maybe paid for Karn plus Helm plus Equip Helm. I think I, I maybe can still. Wow. Okay. Well. So that's nine. Let's see, I'm playing this. Darn. So I was good. So I had eight, nine. So I had nine mana. So yeah, I was gonna. Yep. So I was gonna play. I was gonna play Karn, go grab Helm, and I was gonna be able to play Helm because Helm cost you know. So I had nine mana. So two for Karn, uh, and then two for Helm, which puts me to four. So I have five left, and then so five equip Helm to Golos, and then Golos, uh, you know, go to combat. Get another Golos. Golos go, goes, finds a swamp, trigger, dread presence. So there we go. That was a lot easier whenever my opponent just wasted that Assassin's Trophy on my Ugin. 
didn't keep it. <laughs> I know, it is spectacular when we get to turn the corner with this deck. It's just actually getting there to, to turn the corner. Is the hard part. Yeah. Yep, this deck will will kind of die in a week. I'll have to adapt quite a bit. So I, I mean, I should be taking. Yay, that thing is white at least also. So yeah, should take Tamio. I was like, I was like, I kind of don't want to take Tamio because of Noxious Grass, but. I could really use a Karn Scion of Urza. That'd be a good one. Hear me, deck? Karn Scion of Urza. Wrong color of this card. Gross. Karn, great scion of Urza. I almost started saying great creator. Not that one. Karn, scion of Urza. Alright, not there yet. I got punished for not playing the stronghold. Um, yeah, the difference between level 80, level 100, really, it's, it's just, it's really like the sleeves. Um, so no, it's, it's not really worth it to, to buy those levels unless you really want the sleeves. That's what you would really need from it. Let me aid your research. Why are they not minusing Tamio? I guess because they, oh, because Tamio will die, but so you could just guarantee getting back. Oh, I just have another Nexus. A Drawn from Dreams. I don't I don't know if I've ever beaten Nexus with this deck, to be honest. I think I've always lost a Nexus. No I don't I don't have like anything really to stop him. I'm really slow. I don't have like an unmoored ego in the sideboard to shut him down or anything. Ashiok is not a good card in this matchup. It just I've tried. I know we we've tried going with Ashiok with this matchup, but it just, all it did was just lighten their their deck and just let them get to the only having nexus and nothing else part of the game a lot faster okay you get the kethos card art and kaikar also my notes helpful so yeah you'll have to you know see if that's if that's worth it for you Yeah, with with the new with the new system, with the the new system of that uh, of that standard twenty twenty event, you can get those levels pretty fast now. Mister Mister says they got ten levels in four days with averaging six wins a day.
Yeah, you can also type five bonus levels for for exactly that. Four or five bonus Mind levels. To the library. See, like, that was them, you know, I had five turns and then they win the game, even though I had two duresses. I, yeah, like, I can't win this matchup. I never have before. Just not what our deck is designed to play against at all. Because all like all these cards are unplayable, and that's that's what our deck is built around the removal. So I have to put in. I have to put in like all these other cards, um, but then our car and the great creators aren't very good. I think I want to leave one Spyglass in the sideboard because then I have like three extra Spyglasses with the Karns. Kind of the same thing with Meteor Golem. So yeah, I just don't have a fast enough clock here. All good. Welsh Dragon, welcome back. Five months now. Thank you so much for the continued support, Welsh Dragon. Thank you, thank you. Arena tried to... Arena had to just hold down uh, mono, mono black control. We had to get paired against our worst matchup. I can still deal with creatures. So I'm not completely out of it if they have creatures. Hey, Radical Guru. Um, so it's either Tamiyo or Narset. They probably have more Tamiyos than Narsets. But Narset's also cheaper. And it's a little easier for me to deal with Tamiyo since I have two Noxious Grasp and I don't have those to kill. No, stop drawing lands. Draw more spells. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to me of pigeons. Hmm. You know, just basically kind of mapping it out, thinking about if it's worth it to minus and start making creatures or not. I, I need lands. You may regret that choice. I am Khan. My allies. 
Kings are counting on me. And of course, I'm not casting the duress to let them cycle Veil of Summer, obviously. Yeah, that was really nice for my opponent giving me that stronghold. The choices we make reveal who we are. I will not lose another friend. <clears throat> okay. So we got to dodge those Veil of Summers. They kept a greedy hand, one land, double Veil of Summer opt. I think this is still about as good as I can do. We got really lucky to win a game for this matchup. Yep, so rotation's Thursday, six days from now. Um, no, Brawl is coming in October. That's all they, they said in the recent update today is that it was October. Um, and then uh, there's some other question there. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Matthew. I know. There's there's so many decks. That's. I was thinking, like with the the favorites. Look at this thing in play. So I'm drawing that wilderness reclamation. Obviously, was really bad for me. I mean, that's just a very good card that uh, you know just gives them tons of mana. So they got two seven mana cards in hand. Just lets them cycle both of those and get all sorts of new cards and everything. That was really bad for me. That's kind of what I, I'm doing that right now, basically. I know that, like, there is, like, some, you know, I was thinking about doing, like, our favorites from, like, the previous formats, like, Grixis Discard, Selesnya Angels, things like that, but, I uh, decided to try this. But yeah, going with these favorites here. Thanks, Gomez. Yeah, the, the set review is going to be a whole lot of fun. All right, so they have infinite mana. So they decided not to cast Nexus. So they want... Looks like they are waiting... I think they're waiting um, 
for for some kind of card advantage engine, right? Like, you know, they play like a Tamiyo or a Narset or even an Escanta. You know, they want something like that in play, some permanent in play, and then they cast Nexus. Which makes a lot of sense, because right now it's not gaining too much value. So yeah, yeah, I usually spend about probably about 12 or 10 hours on the set review, would be my guess. And so, yeah, starting that's why I'm starting it early at 1 there. Uh, Dreadhorde's Climb. That that deck definitely took a hit with three mana to fairy. Certainly makes amassing armies a lot harder whenever everybody's gets free bounce effects or just efficient bounce effects. Otherwise, Blast, Blast Zone's going to kill uh, my Liliana. I guess I didn't play my land yet, so I could have played around Quench, which we saw them have Quench. All right, so got some of these things exiled. So Ashiok does not stop them from searching with Field of Ruin. It's only effects that the opponents control. So like my Field of Ruin, they still get to search their library. So they have no lands in hand? And the Narsa hit no spells. I wonder if I like I if I get the Golos and destroy this white source. I wonder if that's their only white source. If they're planning on trying to use Warrant Warden, uh, that's the only win condition we've seen so far. Like only way to actually deal damage is the back part of Warden. I I don't expect that to be it. But that's all we've seen so far.
am the master here. This looks like a fun new toy. Pretty good call. Besides the Meteor Golem, nothing else too great there. Yeah, Thought Distortion, yeah, that Thought Distortion could be a good cyborg card against the Nexus decks. That's definitely a, a useful card. Um, Thought Distortion does just get, does it get Vela summered? Just the trick for this. Because that's that's definitely their plan. Like they're gonna have like four Vale of Summers. Yeah, it's target opponent. Like the of the moon. So that's Seek that's pretty rough. So yeah. So that's pretty rough, but besides that, if you know you actually get to resolve it, it's it's amazing. I uh, love the card, kind of thing. Are you are you gonna win the match because of it? I don't know. I think you I think would still be a pretty big underdog because of Ala Summer. So I don't know if it's worth the sideboard slots because this is a matchup we're probably just gonna be losing all the time anyway. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. As Kanta with double reclamation, they're they're taking the rest of the turns. So Rena's just trying to hold it down mono black control. Had to get had to pair us against Nexus of Fate. Trying to hold us back. Tamio doesn't search. Tamio just looks, just reveals the top four cards of the library. It's not searching the library. Searching the library are effects where you would then shuffle your library afterwards because you've looked through the whole library. That's searching the library. Yeah, this deck would work in best of one. Yeah. You would want to replace. Um, you'd want to replace the Noxious Grasp for best of one. Put in like another cast down or something. Didn't know if we'd have like time really doing the other treasure map. Our our plan is kind of just to do use this treasure map and hit some land drops and flip it and play the, our couple big spells there. All right, good scry. Lord. Foolish. Good job, no ceilings, way to go. Reaching level 100, good job. Stronger. 
Uh, no, this deck is not playable in new standard. There could be a mono black control deck, but it'd have to change a whole lot. I mean, just look like, you know, we can't play like treasure maps and Vras's Contempts. It's gonna, it's gonna have to adapt, but no, it can't be like this. We draw a ritual of set. Ritual of set. Ugh. Darn, that would have been great. So it would have been great. It's not bad, I guess. Does that keep me alive? Kind of does. Another champion of dusk. Why do they just have to rip a removal spell like that? That really hurts them r ripping that removal spell for Dread Presence. Because obviously if we still have Dread Presence here, you know, we have, uh, you know, blockers. So they don't get attacked with those. And then, um, and you know, if we draw a Swamp, we get to shoot down like Legion Lieutenant, gain some more life. We could also activate the Field of Ruin. That really hurts. I'm just drawing cast down. Can they draw another Legion's End? Darn. Need to cry the Carnarium. Man, if they didn't draw that cast down, I think we could have stabilized. Even after that 
mulligan into a great start with the opponent. Having turn three, you know, Soren put in champion, draw a bunch of cards. Hey Rex, good afternoon. Hey, good job, Alder too. Got to get some value from Rian. Awesome. Rian's a cool card. Hmm. Is the one card enough? It's Probably enough. It's probably enough. Let's think about maybe trimming down on some duress. I'll hate duress in this matchup, especially post board. They have a little bit more interaction. Snagging the planeswalkers early can be really nice. Yeah, I did see. Yeah, we got. Yeah, there. Mill is going to be more of a part of standard with Eldrain. Um, you know, like there's the blue black card that cares about how many cards are in the opponent's graveyard and a few other cards like that as well. All right, got rid of Soren. Why don't they just use the unclaimed territory? rude. <laughs> there you go. It took you about 20 games with the niv Mizzet Reborn deck to get the re value. That happens. Uh, yeah, let's go with the moment of craving just for the that little bit of life gain. I, I, you know, I'm not saying that it's definitely better than Disfigure. I don't know. Figure the game's gonna, the, like, our deck is playing a long enough game that the one extra mana isn't, um, isn't something that I, that I, like, necessarily need to worry about too much. I kind of want to save Field of Ruin. I know I could have Field of Ruin first. Whoops, I meant to do that upkeep, but oh well, good thing we didn't. <clears throat> I think I want to save the Field of Ruin for having Dread Presence in play. I will defend my allies. Well chosen. Thanks, Undead. So yeah, there's that code. Five, five bonus levels. Aptly named code to get you five bonus levels. Does aptly make sense there? How No, so that's, that's going to be for before rotation. K 
conveniently. There you go. Game three. Ugh. Okay, apt is also appropriate. Appropriately named. There you go. Yeah, Golos is in this deck as a as a blocker that ramps into our six drops. Um, it's a it's a card that also goes and finds it. By like ramp, it can ramp a lot because it goes and finds Cabal Stronghold and puts it into play. And our our deck, you know, being a control deck, we can use a whole lot of extra mana, and that's what Cabal Stronghold can do is get you a lot of extra mana. But it's it's versatile. You know, you can, if you have Stronghold, you can get that extra swamp you need. You can get an extra swamp to if you go turn four Dread Presence and then Golos, you can go put a swamp into play and trigger Dread Presence again. Also. This is tough. This is just a really good seven card hand. I just want to I'm just want to say keep. We have to put one back though. Do I just put a land back? I don't really like keeping just two lands though. We have 26 lands in the deck. I could put like the cruelty back, I guess. I guess I do that. I don't really want to ditch a land. Nope. Not you. Yes, you. Double Soren. Welcome to the family. Bad Lieutenant. Ugh. Really want this land. I guess I don't get to kill Soren anyway if I go Dread Presence. Land. Anyway. Sure. You know, I know that's just taking that Soren, but you know that's that's one Soren down.
Now we just got one more sword to deal with. Oh. Maybe they'll draw a land. Come on, draw a land, draw a land. Wow, we did it. That uh, doesn't kill Soren right now, but it's it's just too good to It's too good to get rid of. If they do draw a vampire and they try to sack the vampire to kill Dread Presence, I can get rid of two treasures to keep Dread Presence around. I think I do that. Dread Presence too valuable. Just got our two cards back. Well, this is looking quite good. You have only won a battle. I should have just done this first. Could have drawn something like a six drop or something. That's right, fine. Um. What do I think about this deck post-rotation? Yeah, talked about that a little bit. Basically, it's going to have to change a whole lot. Um, there there could still be enough for a mono-black control deck, but it's going to have to change a lot. Uh, losing treasure map is a huge hit. That's like your early card that gives you card advantage. And, and honestly, Karn Cyan of Urza is a really big part of this deck of just hit continually hitting land drops. Losing those two cards are... Are um are really troublesome. What's up, QQ? An elder two. Hey y'all. Kind of feel like it may have to go more towards like for mono mono black's probably gonna want to go more towards um Yurox Fenlurker and Playcrafter and um, Caval the Cavalier of Night and that kind of stuff. It's hard to go like the kind of the quasi creatureless control route without Treasure Map and Karn. What do you think about Clackbridge Troll? A lot of people are saying it's not good, but all I see is a bigger desecrated demon, and that card was super unhealthy for the meta. I would not really say that about Desecrated Demon. Desecrated Demon was a, a good card, but I don't think it was really ever super unhealthy for the meta game. Anyway, Clackbridge Troll. Bridge Troll is 5 mana, 8 8 Trample Haste, ETBs. Your opponent gets 3 0 ones. The beginning of combat on your turn, any opponent may sack a creature. If they do, then you tap, tap the troll, you gain 3 life and draw a card. That card's pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, that, that card's pretty strong, honestly. I'm just gain three life draw card every turn. I'll take that. The thing about it is your opponent does have... Do not defy the design. You know, they have, they have the ability to choose, of course, and so... I was human. Um, I like the comparison to, to Desecrated Demon, though. That's a pretty good comparison. Yeah, three goats. The troll given three goats. Yeah, to be honest, I hadn't really looked at that card too much yet. That is a really cool card. 
I like it. Yeah, cause cause it has it has trample and haste. So you get to attack with it immediately, so they just sacrifice something immediately. Yeah, it's gain three life, draw a card, but then it just kind of sticks around and continues to do that. And if you're if you're pairing that with like, I could see that in a deck like this, pairing that with like Cry of the Carnarium. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, I like that card. All right, so we went 3-1 with mono black control. Since we got, you know, four kind of slower decks here today. Um, I think I'm going to I'm going to take the 3-1. Good record for just a good deck. We lost our match to Nexus, but as I was saying, I, like, I don't think I've ever beaten Nexus. We at least got one game, um, so, you know, we made it competitive. We took took him to a game three, but this deck's just not going to beat Nexus with all of our removal spells and everything. But, but yeah, then, we, you know, we faced some other aggro decks, you know, Mono Red and Vampires um, as well. And, you know, we, we had all of our removal spells helped us uh, stabilize those ones. Dread Presence was awesome in both of those matchups against Mono Red and um, against Vampires. And Dread Presence was also awesome against the Golgari deck as well. We played against Golgari Citadel, got to outgrind Golgari Citadel thanks to Dread Presence getting us a bunch of cards um, and then our other top end cards. Just a fun deck to play. And, you know, that's what our uh, Friday favorites is about here playing some of our favorite decks and yeah this is it this is a good one all right so if you're watching later on youtube hope you enjoyed this deck as much as i did and uh you know maybe we'll play it again one more time before next week maybe not we'll see um it'd probably be wednesday i guess probably but uh if if we do yeah moldrotha is gonna rotate out yep but uh, yeah, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And uh, don't forget to leave some comments. Also, I always like seeing the comments on the YouTube channel. So feel free to leave comments over there. But thank you so much for watching some Mono Black Control. And I'll see you for the next video.